Well, first of all, the Publications Office is not uh, a publisher in the traditional sense that most people think of the publisher because we don't, uh, we are not responsible for the editorial content. Our mandate is to publish on uh, any uh, our media. Uh, the publications, the official publications of the various institutions, bodies and agencies of the European Union. So our second mandate is also to follow technology changes and to make sure that we provide leading edge publishing solutions to our customers, which are these institutions and bodies of the European Union. So obviously the Frankfurt Book Fair which has over 7,000 exhibitors. I believe this year they're expecting roughly 300,000 visitors, uh, roughly 10,000 journalists. For us, it's a great opportunity to follow what's going on in terms of rapid technology evolution uh, in the ed publishing marketplace. It's an opportunity for us to promote the public sector information reuse policy, both to the public at large, because the fair is open to the public the last two days of the show on Saturday and Sunday, but also to offer potential business opportunities to business partners who are interested by the services of the publications office and the vast uh, range of content that we offer. If you think in terms of our stakeholders, uh, we have various thematic websites. Uh, I give the example of Yearlex, which is uh, really the uh, website, uh, the access to EU legislation and case law, and it's very much uh, targeted towards professionals who need this type of information. They can access this information uh, free of charge online. The information is updated on uh, a very constant basis, and for uh, expert professionals who really need access to work with the source information. We offer licenses to business partners so they, uh, at a nominal fee so they can work with the raw data in ways that make it better for them. Likewise, we have the site Cordis, which covers all EU-funded research uh, across, uh, across not only the European Union, but all research which is funded by the European Union throughout the world. And there again, we offer specialists, uh, researchers, scientists who are interested in uh, finding out more about not only projects that can receive funding, but also about results uh, of existing projects. And we've just launched a new Cordis Partner Service, which has doubled the number of uh, uh, users in a professional user group who are interested in scientific research. And finally, thematically, we have a very wide range of uh, publications available on the general site. EU bookshop ranging from uh, content which could be of interest to the children's marketplace uh, through to also specialized information for uh, legal or, or other technical users of information. And we're also here in Hall 4.2 to uh, encourage uh, co-publishing with uh, private sector publishers and other international or government publishers because we believe uh, that that is another uh, way of leveraging uh, the EU Commission Directive on Public Sector Information Reuse. Well, Production is changing very quickly by the rising importance in the use of metadata and, and the anchor stone of our new production, our publishing strategy is to offer uh, metadata in a very standardized, harmonized way. Why do we do that? We want to make sure we can guarantee the EU citizen access to uh, uh, information about law and general publications. We want to make sure that in this way we can promote the reuse of content and metadata, and we want to make sure that we can encourage people that they can access that information years later because the way we store the information assures its long-term usefulness. And one of the ways that we leverage this metadata is by moving towards an XML publishing strategy which really allows uh, users over time to reuse or repurpose is the term that's often used in the industry, the original content in different ways and so that you actually are able to amortize the original content multiple times over the course of its life.